What a fascinating animal. This is Latin name is known as Artispiro strepidus gigas. Gigas meaning the giant of the Latin. Uh, and this is certainly a giant. You certainly wouldn't want to find this in your cabbage patch. And what is this? This is a giant millipede from Africa. The Africans also call them Chungalulus. And we house them here at Shuttleworth. We've been very successful at breeding them. And this is a large female. The females dig down deep into the peaty soil that they live. And uh, they lay their eggs, their clutch of eggs. Can be up to two, 250 eggs. And then once the eggs hatch, they burrow out up into the ground. And then you find babies, rather like the one we have here. This one is about three months old. And you can see there's a huge size difference. Now these are used for handling here at Shuttleworth College. We study their behaviour and we certainly enjoy watching them feed. You can actually hear them crunch the cucumber or the crunchy lettuce that they feed on. They're purely herbivorous. They don't eat any animal protein or any dead animals whatsoever. As you can see, they're rather fun. They're not particularly to, hand, to handle. Their legs move in Mexican ways, and they're a, they're a family of the arthropods. They also defend their territory, and they defend their territory by releasing a, a fluid that often dyes your hand a purpley colour. It causes no harm, but it delivers a very bitter taste, which defends themselves against the things like millipedes that may eat them in the wild. So they are fantastic animals. In the Plasticine period, when the dinosaurs were around, you would have found these nearly three foot in length, or maybe even a metre. How big is that? That's absolutely fantastic. But again, today's modern, uh, the, today's modern world, this is the largest of the species, the Gygus.